Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a general pick a pile reading about what will the relationship be like in a year. So readings are timeless and timestamps are in the pinned comments and decks are in the description box. There's also a link to my link tree where you can find me all over the internet as well as link to Etsy for this exact reading. I wanted to say thank you to my new subscribers. It's been awesome watching that number grow. I also really appreciate you guys who are getting Etsy readings. It's been really fun to watch you as you go through your relationships and see you guys like practicing self-love and growing. It's been really awesome. So now I have a shout out card for Valerie who was a person who left a comment in one of the videos and that is the reverse moon card so now Valerie the reverse moon card is about clarity it's about truth being revealed also you may be receiving some messages in your dreams so you want to pay attention to what's going on also this is really just a really sexy card you've got two couples under the moonlight so maybe it's time for you to find some people and do some fun kinky things so if you would like a shout out card, be the first person to leave a message or comment, even if it's just which pile you choose, that still will qualify you and you will be able to get your very own shout out reading, which is just one card that will be before the readings. Also, we have what is in the box. What's in the box is really important on my channel because it is all about intuition. So you figure out what's in the box by using your intuition. Intuition is very important on my channel because we all know if you try to put information that is not yours, it will just be uncomfortable and you won't get the message that you're really supposed to have because it's somebody else's message. Also, if my camera zooms in on a specific card once we're in the middle of the reading, then we'll pull a clarifier from the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Today we have the blue car or blue truck, the blue gem or the black bear. So let's go ahead and we will get started with the people who chose the blue truck. So I did pull a um, Moonology card just for an extra bonus Oracle card. And then we have, will you be having sex in a year? What's the biggest fight you guys will have in a year? What's the best quality of your relationship in a year? And then we have your energy and their energy. And I'll move things around as we flip them over. So let's get started with the question that I would want to know. Will there be sex in a year? And the answer is yes. Absolutely. When something is absolute, there is nothing wrong with charging forward. So excellent. You guys are either just starting in this relationship or you've kind of been in it and you want to see where things will go. And it looks like in a year you guys will still be having sex. The biggest fight is showing up as the reverse fool card. So the reverse fool is carelessness, there's apathy, you're kind of absent-minded. So for your uh, relationship in one year, the biggest fight will just be that this person or yourself, one of you, is just not paying attention to the other person. They're not getting what they want. Um, it's been three minutes and 33 seconds, so 333 is really important to you guys as well. Um, but I really feel like the reason that this person, either you or them, would not be giving the attention is going to be something like going back to school or having a baby. Like it's something where you really had to pay attention to this thing, but it's going to be a source of contention in a year when it comes around to that. So the best quality of the relationship, though, is showing up as the lover's card. So the lovers are about partnership and balancing so you guys will get through this part of it um, you'll get through whatever the situation is and you'll come out stronger perhaps even hearing this reading will help you maintain a better um, sense of attention and even if that other person doesn't pay attention you're gonna be like well at least I know it changes so that could be helpful in the future and then your energy is showing up as support. Support for your partner will allow you both to feel loving and comfortable. So the potential for this being your partner just really kind of jumped up there. Oh, I just saw 444. I don't do that in every video. I really rarely see them like that. So you have a lot of synchronicities going on, especially like these are both major arcana. 
they're both uh, heavily weighed towards divine timing. Like this is something that you guys karmically decided to do as a couple. So you could potentially be like soulmates or twin flames. Like you guys came here to learn these lessons. And then this is their energy, which is showing up as engagement. And engagement is in your future, yours or someone in your life. So it could be possible that by the time this year comes around and you and your partner have had some major things happen, then this, your partner's going to be like, you know what? I'm ready to get engaged. I would like to get married to you. So just be cognizant of that. If that's something that you would want. I feel like this, this life change is really going to make it so that you guys realize how close you really are by that point. So I know that there's some of you who are watching and it doesn't feel like that could be possible, but, um, your cards are showing if the energy continues the way it is right now. Now we can make life choices. You know, you could choose to break up with this person or you could choose to, you know, move to another state or whatever. You can make a choice that would make this not happen. But if you continue on the path that you're in right now, this is where you are headed. So then the Moonology card says the answers you need are coming full moon in Gemini, which is excellent. Like you, there's, there's some things that are heading into your future that you don't know what they are. So let me pull a clarifier because it's zooming in on that card. Okay. And I'm going to show you both. It came up as the Empress. And the second card that came up was the Eight of Swords. So the Eight of Swords is about isolation, but it's usually like mental isolation. So for some of you, this person is going to get connected or they're going to get caught up in what they're doing and you're going to be in your head and thinking it's a really bad thing. And thinking, oh, well, this person doesn't love me anymore and could possibly make the choice to not continue in the relationship. And then some of you are going to go in this empress, which really connects back to the fact, I know earlier I talked about like pregnancy or having a baby, something along those lines. So let's pull a card. So what pulled up as a clarifier for that uh, reverse fool card is the two of pentacles, which is about options and multitasking. So for some of you, it really is about like, having a baby or a job change. Like there's something really big that, that happens in this moment. And for some of you, you forget that this person loves you. You forget why you got started on this journey. And then for some of you, you're like, Oh yeah, this is exactly what I wanted. I wanted this baby. I wanted this job change. I wanted to have this, excuse me, have this abundance. This is what I came here for. So you have to use your, discernment and your inner knowledge to find out which person you are. So thank you so much for letting me read for you. If you need further information or you'd like this exact reading, you can find the link for my Etsy shop in the description box as well as in the comment section that's pinned. And then don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And also don't forget to go to the end of the video to find out what is in the box. All right. So this is for the second group of people that chose the blue gem. So we have the moonology card. Then we have in a year, will you still be having sex? What would be the biggest fight? What would be the best quality in a year in this relationship? And then what is your energy and what is their energy so let's get started with will you be having sex oh came up as the magic card if you watch my channel a lot you know this card very rarely comes up there's only one of them in the entire deck what this means it says manifestation you are very powerful you are on the right path the things you are looking for are directly in front of you so when you have that manifestation card comes up and when it's that magic card basically means anything that you want. The world is your oyster. So if you still want to be having sex in a year, you will be. If you don't want to be having sex in a year, which I don't know why, but if you don't want to be having sex in a year, you won't be. So you are a very powerful manifester. So that really means in this situation, however you, which we all are, we all are very powerful manifest uh, manifestors, but you specifically in this situation have a very high 
level of intuition as to what to do. So then the biggest fight that would be coming in a year would be the Ten of Cups, which is very interesting because the Ten of Cups is about like happy family. It's about abundance and, and having children and love. So the biggest fight, I, I really get a sense of feeling though that this being the biggest fight, I don't think it's going to be the worst fight. I feel like what this is really being interpreted as is the worst thing that you guys have to fight about is that you're so happy. Who's happier? That's your biggest fight. Like in a year, you guys are really in a place where you're like, yeah, we've got things figured out. So the best quality of the relationship is showing up as the two of cups and the two of cups is about romantic love and partnership. This is also often seen as the twin flame card. So you guys, are, there's a lot of magic in this. You guys have done a lot of magic. And it's working out very well for you because ultimately the magic that you did was just love magic. You just loved this person unconditionally. So then your romantic energy is showing up as friends. It's important to build your, lo your love on friendship. Excellent. Which it's also 1111 right now as 11 minutes and 11 seconds as we're reading this. So you guys found your best friend. You found your, your lover. You found the one who your soul loves. And, you know, a year from now, your energy is basically like, I love you. Everything's fantastic. And then their energy is showing up as breakup. Wow. Guys says sometimes moving on is the best way to be kind. So there's something in their energy in a year where it might be possible that you guys, I watched a video, um, Aaron Doherty on YouTube and they were talking about conscious, uh, uncoupling, basically like making a choice as a twin flame that you don't have to be in a relationship in order to love this person. So it could be possible that, you know, you have some insight and in some things that come up in a year where you guys are really going to delve into what it means to be in this relationship because everything about it is loving and kind and helpful and magical. So there's definitely something going on here that'll be between the two of you. I'm going to pull a clarifier card. I'm going to pull a clarifier card that's just one that, that shows us where things are. And it fell on the floor, of course. So it is showing up as the Knight of Pentacles. And that's about somebody who's working really hard and there's some travel. It could be that you guys hit something where, you know, your partner wants to go forward and you're not wanting to move. This will be definitely something that you uh, figure out as it gets closer, but it's good because you remain friends. So I'd be very interested to see where that's coming from. And then the clarifier that came up on here was the page of wands upright. And the page of wands is about a new career. So yeah, it looks like it might be possible that when that year comes around, one of you is going to have a career change and there's something else that you're going to be manifesting. And it doesn't seem that it makes that person very happy. They don't seem to want to continue forward. So you'll know what to do when you get there. But it looks like in a year, you might not be as coupled as you want to be currently. So maybe you'll get through and find things out and see what happens. But go ahead and research on the on, um, YouTube about conscious uncoupling because there might be something that you would need for the future. So then your moonology card that shows up says step out of your comfort zone. There's a lot of things that it's really interesting because Steve Noble is also someone who I listen to a lot of meditations with and he's talking a lot about how the light is changing and and the 5D earth is coming in, which is really changing the way we look at relationships. And that's really something that I have been kind of seeing a lot of. And I really want you to know that my plan is to be there while these shifts are happening. But there's something that's going to be changing the way we look at relationships, the way we look at monogamy, the way we look at uh, polyamory or polygamy like relationships are really starting to shift and alter much as we are like humans you know 
about a hundred years ago, you wouldn't have someone who was transgender or that wouldn't be talked about. I'm sorry. They would, that would still be something that would be in existence, but it was not a common conversation. And now I have several friends who are transgender and I find them very loving and I enjoy being able to learn not only the struggles that they have and how they need to be loved or desire to be loved by their friends and family, but also how we as human beings can accept each other. So this might be for some of you, this is where that magic comes in. This is what you came to earth for. You came to find this perfect connection and then step out of your comfort zone and see if it's still there. So I would be really, really interested. I feel that this group also has a lot of star seeds in it. Uh, this is a group that is really here on the leading edge, as uh, Abraham Hicks, Hicks talks about, on the leading edge of changing what things are for humanity. So you have a very, if anything, really pay attention to the fact that you still care about this person in a year. But I would be really interested to see how this plays out for you. But if you would like a specific reading for you and your connection and you feel that maybe this doesn't all resonate for you and some of it might be someone else's information, you can find this exact reading on Etsy. And don't forget to like and share and subscribe and all of the wonderful things you can do on YouTube. And now we are here with group number three, the ones that chose the black bear. So we have the moonology card. We would have, will you still be having sex in the year? What is the biggest fight? What is the best quality of the relationship? And then we have your energy and their energy. So in a year, will they still be having sex? Is showing us, no, don't. This path is not the path for you. Don't settle on life. You are worthy of great things. So I sense that you guys are very new to this relationship. Um, for some of you, I do want to remind you that this is an energetic reading for what your energy is is like right now projecting a year into the future. So if you made a different choice along the way, you could have a different answer. But if you continue going down the path that you're on right now with this person, in a year, there won't be a sexual relationship. So the biggest fight for this relationship is about tower moments. So I really see a lot, you know, that's about unwanted change and things that you don't have control over. So it's very possible that the reason that this relationship doesn't have sexual relationships in a year is that there's a physical tower moment for one of the parties. So one of the parties is unable to perform sexually because of the tower moment that comes in for them. And, you know, tower moments are crazy. I've been, I had some tower moments like in a row and came out on the other side to like three weeks for every, like the dust to settle, so to speak. And <clears throat> at the other side of that, it really, I realized I was so much happier with how things turned out. And it was just kind of this moment of going with the flow and really trusting the process. And that's where I really feel that you'll be like you, if you're in resistance to a tower moment, what are you going to bring more tower moments? You're just going to have to have a lot until you learn the lesson. And it's crazy because the tower moments that I was going through were huge life lessons that I had been trying to grasp my whole life. And they just kind of fell in order and it was really helpful. So don't be uh, have this anticipation of like, oh, in a year, everything in my life will be bad and I won't be having sex. Like, don't spend your whole year like that. That's going to be really detrimental to your well-being. Just really pay attention. You know, one of the things that I was thinking of is if you have somebody who has this diabetic um, situation and they are not able to have erections because of the diabetes and that's preventable. So maybe for some of you, these... Um, Things are being shown to you right now so that you can kind of see ahead down that year plan and be like, oh, oh, okay, so I am dealing with somebody who's diabetic. Let's get that under control. Let's work with that. Or, you know, I am dealing with whatever the medical condition is. And you can do some preventative maintenance on that so it doesn't get to the point where it would impede sexuality. 
So then the best quality of the relationship is showing up as the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is about compromise and balancing. So for the best quality of this relationship is, I really sense that there's so much love that even though there is difficulty sexually, it doesn't stop this relationship from going forward. So then your relationship energy is romance. Romance is exciting when you discover the secret things that make your relationship spark. So that's, that's perfect, you guys, because even though there's not a sexual relationship, there's still a romantic energy. And that's really beneficial because it really seems that I, I really feel that the uh, masculine is going to be having issues in this, the masculine energy. Now that means that could mean a female identifying person or a male identifying person, but the person who in the connection has more heavily the um, masculine energy is the one who's going to be having the problem. So if you identify as the masculine energy, then you're also going to be having romance, but you're the one who's having the physical problem. But if you identify as the feminine, then you're going to be having romance while they're the ones with the physical problem. So then their romantic energy is commitment. Commitment is in the air, engagement, marriage, or an invitation to move in. So, I mean, the excellent part is that even though the sexual relationship in a year can be a little bit rocky, it doesn't really mean there's anything rocky with the relationship. So that is a beautiful thing. It really shows that, you know, commitment. And it's a, an excellent word for this. I really feel like you guys are going to be like, oh, wow, you really just love me. You weren't here for the sex. And I think that's going to be very beneficial for this group. So the Moonology card says, hold your vision. Fixed moon. So there's some of you that have a hope with this person. Like you want to be in a relationship that is full of that romance and commitment. You want this in-depth relationship with this person. And that's available for you. You need to hold that vision. So let's clarify. So the vision, it says, hold your vision. And what came up was the Ace of Swords. And sorry, Ace of Swords, yes. The Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is about mental clarity. It can also be about like surgeries and things that are really big coming in physically. But it's also, according to this card, about some really kinky sex. So don't lose your vision for having kinky sex with this person. Just realize that those physical conditions are going to be needing to be cleared up. Um, I also, uh, it's really weird, you guys. I just heard vaginal dryness. So I know I'm just going to say the things that I've heard because I like to give all the messages out. So uh, I really do see that there's a lot that could be happening, but the masculine energy is the one that's holding on and is going to have some physical issues, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's like erectile dysfunction. It could also be vaginal dryness. It could be any kind of thing physically affecting a male or female body, but it is affecting the masculine energy. So if you find yourself in the year as the one who is physically experiencing feminine problems because of your body being female, that does not mean that you don't need to look at your masculine energy being balanced. So you might even want to get started on that. Just balance your masculine and feminine energy and it's going to keep you in a much healthier position. So for those of you who are identifying as the masculine energy, it can also mean uh, female problems when it comes to sexuality. Okay. Well, thank you so much for letting me read it for you. And if you feel that you need some more information or this didn't quite all add up to you and you want to get your specific, head on over to Etsy where there's over 50 readings right now. And then I just realized that I didn't put anything in the box. And I don't edit my videos because I like things to flow. Nothing's in the box, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and I look forward to reading for you again.